billboard, on a backdrop or banner behind people, you're looking at them. Something is dead to see. Stop it. Wonderful. Thank you once again. Thank you. I really enjoyed talking with you. And we need to put them to positive use in a matter that would create economic impact as well. Hello and welcome to the Benny Uche Show. Glad you could join us today. Wow, what a long week it's been. But I can assure you that watching this show today will relax you. And there's a lot of information you're really going to gain from watching this episode of the Benny Uche Show. My guest today is an interviewer's delight. Very knowledgeable in her field. And very willing to share. And believes a lot in volunteerism. However, She's a woman who's worked all her life in the financial and banking sector. And she's very interested in empowering people to enhance their social lifestyle. Please join me in welcoming to the Benny Uche Show, Miss Ivy Honor. Ivy, you're very welcome to the Benny Uche Show. Thank you Show. very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you for making up time to be here today. I know you have three meetings to go to, but thanks again. You're welcome. Ivy, a lot of people are watching you on the Ben Uche show today, and some may know you, some may not. But it'll be interesting for them to find out the journey so far. Who exactly is Ivy? And tell us a bit about you. Okay. Ivy Honora is a seasoned banker um, who has worked in so many banks in the Nigerian economy. Um, starting with um, FCMB, that was formerly called First City Merchant Bank before they were renamed First City Monument Bank after getting their universal banking license um, years back. And um, so many other banks, also in, which includes Access Bank, Standard Trust, that accumulated into UBA. I have a passion for giving customer service. I'm very dogged and determined. And um, I'm very result oriented. And that has helped me so far. Awesome. I'm a very passionate person. I, I did not give up easily in the midst of hitches or hiccups or challenges. Um, you know, working in the banking sector, um, you encounter a lot in terms of challenges, meeting up with expectations that are reposed upon you um, from your bosses, peers, or subordinates. So I have been able to go through all that, and that is what I am today. And I also am very much interested in, that is another passion I've um, found myself doing in empowering um, people. Um, it cuts across whether women, youths, whoever and that's a passion I'm, I'm, I'm still working on. Wonderful. Well you know Ivy, um, some people you know be it young or old have gone through the four walls of a university and probably gotten a degree in banking and finance but then is that really what determines whether you should go into the banking and financial sector? Is there a certain mind frame or attitude you should have to be able to survive because you've seen it all? Oh yeah, I'll be talking to the young and upcoming bankers, not the ones that are in existence now. Mm -hmm. um, really, um, if they have chosen or decide to choose banking as a career, um, they should have that determination. They should be very steadfast. Um, funny enough, in my younger days as a banker, uh, we had a medical doctor <laughs> who came in and said that was his interest. I think um, he said uh, the medical field was the wrong one. 
that he went into that because of his parents. Mm. But in actual fact, he's always been interested in the banking sector, that he loved the way they dressed, the corporate outlook. And that said, it's not all about the corporate outlook, there's still a lot more. Mm. Um, and I think for the young and upcoming bankers, what they should do, if they decide to choose banking and they have decided that is their interest, they should also find out what they should do in order to make it a work out. Um, first and foremost, for example, if you just studied sociology in the university, then you should go on short, other short courses, customer service, business administration. Um, you could also go for a master's degree mm -hmm. in the area of um, banking and finance, that's MBA, mm -hmm. um, specializing in banking and finance or specializing in whichever one you feel like. Um, and they should just have that determination that, that notwithstanding the challenges mm -hmm. and opposition that they will meet in the, within the workforce, within the organization or the structure they're going to meet or the system, um, that they must overcome. Okay. They just must overcome. And there must be discipline because in the banking sector, there's no room for laxity. You just must be up and about um, you must be very focused, um, you must be very tolerant, mm -hmm. um, you must understand who your internal customers and external customers are, and you must be able to reach out effectively to them, to be able to meet up to whatever expectations, because within the internal customers we're talking about other colleagues in other departments or units, um, these are your customers who are ready to give service, mm -hmm. um, to the end user who eventually is the external customer. Um, so there has to be some form of strong collaboration. Absolutely. So there are certain skills that you must um, build up on and those skills cannot be gotten unless if you train yourself to sharpen up those yeah, skills. Yourself, yeah. um, because there are certain courses that the bank will uh, want to send you, mm. um, seize those opportunities. And there's what we also used to call in the banking sector self-development. Um, and back on some form of um, courses on your own, as I earlier said, one month, two weeks, three weeks, three months. Um, and if that is not enough, then go for the master's degree. Uh, so that way your skills are much more sharpened and you, you're much more knowledgeable. Because in the banking sector, there's a lot of um, evolution in terms of um, policies, um, knowledge, trends in terms of knowledge that you have to keep up with. And if you're not up to s s um, speed mm -hmm. with, what, with the trend, et cetera, then you, 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 you lapse behind and it kind of makes you unproductive. So for these young and upcoming uh, bankers, they should be ready to be dogged and to be able to overcome whatever challenges that are set before them. Awesome. Very well said. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 